Hey everybody, Antonia here with Review Mummy, and today I have my review of my Ipsy for May 2015. Let's go ahead and open it up. For any of you who don't know, Ipsy is a monthly subscription service. It costs 10 US dollars a month. For anybody who lives here in Canada, like I do, this works out of being $20 a month. Um, because you have to factor in shipping and handling, and then the exchange rate at the minute, which sucks. Okay, so first thing out here is the card. So Ipsy does give you a card. It really doesn't have any information about any of the products or anything, but um, this month it's Jess, Jet Jet Setter is the theme. Okay, and this is this month's bag. It's nice. It kind of just feels like a um, burlap bag. Not as nice as last month's. Last month's bag was pretty nice. Okay, so the first thing out of the bag here is a Briogeo. Briogeo? It is a repair leave-in conditioning spray. Rosehip, argan, and coconut oil. Ooh. And you spray it throughout clean, damp hair with focus on the mid-length two ends of the hair prior to air or blow drying. Do not rinse out. Oh, okay. It is just a spray. And it smells very coconutty. Just get, you know, don't want to waste any product. Okay, so love that. Love anything for my hair, actually. So that's a win for me. Second thing out here is eye patches. So soothing eye patches. I've seen these in a few. Not this, not this particular brand. So this brand is Clorain. Um, I'm pretty certain I got a dry shampoo from these before and I hated it. Like, absolutely hated it. Um, I don't know whether it's the same brand or not, but I will actually, I'll check that out. But I, I, I need something for under eyes. I get, like, intervals of sleep, like two hours, wake up, two hours, wake up. So, you know, I've got bags under my eyes all the time. That's what you have when you have a baby. So, yeah, I'll give those a try. Oh, there's another one. Nice. Okay, next thing here is, ooh, it's from Glamblow. And, okay, so this is a Thirsty Cleanse, Daily Hydrating Cleanser. Nice. So, I have heard about this brand before, but usually it's the, like, the little under eye kind of serums. So, yeah, definitely give this a go. I'm just going to open it up. It's sealed, which is always nice. Oh, it smells kind of almondy, but it does. It looks like clay. So yeah, definitely interested in giving that one a go. And the next thing was wrapped in bubble wrap, but it just fell out, and it is a bronzer by Pixie. Um, I've never used anything. Just want to kind of double check. Yeah, I've never used anything by Pixie. Uh, it kind of it gets mixed reviews from everything I've seen, so we will see. It's kind of a small pot for a bronzer, but bronzers are generally in a bigger one. Yeah, it's very glowy, kind of. Yeah, nice. And there's one more thing left in my bag. Oh, okay, love this. It's a makeup brush. Um, and in general, I love my makeup brushes. <laughs> so this is really, really nice. It's a Luxie 205 tapered blending brush. It is really, really soft. Has a cute kind of um, iridescent pink kind of color. Handle, nice bit of white. Oh, it's kind of rose gold up here. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, can't wait to give that a try. So. Again, Ipsy was an absolute win for me. Even though we do have to spend a little bit more on it here, um, when you live in Canada, you know it's it's still it's still worth the twenty dollars. Well, this month and last month, which is the only two I've ever got. Um, if you like more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button below, um, and I will be back with loads more unboxings. Not just beauty. We're gonna get a little bit different, but yeah. If you like it, please subscribe. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. And hopefully, see you all soon. Bye.